Hello, the first few section of the video is a recap on the video number one I have created on how to replace the screen of a MacBook 13 inch notebook. Earlier I have used a surgical uh, tweezer uh, and help so that it can help me easily uh, reconnect the video connector to the uh, circuit board of the LED screen and at the same time I have removed the conduit plastic where the cable runs through so that it can give me extra space to work uh, uh, with the cable. Uh, also I have uh, stressed to securely fasten the retainer clip uh, for a proper connection. If you missed the first video please uh, check the link below. Hello, I'm back with the second half of the tutorial on how to replace the MacBook screen. First, I will start off with um, using the hair dryer set at low heat to remove all the old double-sided tapes. I do not encourage to reuse these uh, old uh, tapes. In my opinion, this is the most important part of the process, putting back together. A lot of people would regard as tearing apart or the disassembly process of any machine, equipment. In our case, the screen is the hardest. I would disagree with them because in my professional experience, the hardest and the most critical part of the process is putting back the parts together in a satisfactory manner that can make your customer happy with your service. Okay, so let me go back to my work. As I mentioned earlier, I am applying low heat coming from a hair dryer. Uh, I am at the same time I am scraping those old adhesive that uh, had formed into a lump or bump uh, on the on the brackets. I do not recommend using adhesive remover, the the ones that are oil based, because the new adhesive tape will not stick properly if you use those uh, chemical. Let me show you the instance where I did not remove the old adhesive tape and then just reuse it. Okay, so what I did is just to, after I put in the, L, the new LCD, I put back the bezel without uh, changing the adhesive. Look at on the lower right, that's where I'm trying to point at right now, see that um, bright spots on the right side, right section of the LCD screen. The, L the screen is not bad. It's just that there's pressure underneath. Well, actually, some technicians would not care to replace uh, the old uh, adhesive tape. But, uh, that's their choice. If you visit my website, ifixiteasy.com, uh, I showcase the double-sided silicon tape that I use um, for the laptops that I put back together. The name is DAP Contact Stick. It's a weatherproof and uh, um, it's an all-purpose adhesive strips. All you have to do is to cut out and then put it on the uh, underneath the bezel and I will show you how to properly use it in the in this video so I will now cut this video I, uh, I am assuming that you already know how to remove those uh, old uh, uh, adhesive tapes and I will continue with the bezel section where I remove those old adhesive tapes as well and put those new um, double-sided uh, silicon. Okay, now we're going to work with the bezel or the plastic cover. I would suggest that you're going to start off tracing those old adhesive tape because um, we're going to remove them using the heat gun 
and then we're going to uh, replace with the new DAP uh, all purpose adhesive tape that I have recommended earlier some suppliers actually are selling pre-cut uh, double-sided tapes for particular models but I did not resort to that because I find I found it uh, more expensive than to buy the DAP uh, all purpose adhesive tape that I am recommending besides it's more durable and uh, can very well serve uh, the purpose okay let me stop this video I mean cut this video and proceed to the removal of the adhesive from the vessel Okay, so finally I was able to clean the vessel with the old adhesive and uh, now I'm going to stick the silicone adhesive. Okay, so now let us proceed with the DAP contact stick. Uh, this is an all-purpose adhesive tape uh, that I mentioned earlier. There are like 10 strips in one package so I may only be using a couple to cover the necessary area underneath the, the vessel uh, please note you don't have to cover the whole area that you have uh, traced earlier only the portion especially the edges of those area that is most critical Okay, let me start putting the strip on the left side of the of the vessel. Be careful not oh I touch that adhesive portion that's why it just grabs my skin. It sticks to my skin uh, easily. So um, I will be using a knife to take out the other half of the insulation. Uh, again um, I have to cut this portion here because uh, it it it's it got stuck to my hand. So be careful with it. Do not uh, touch the uh, sticky part. Oh, just another tip. When when you cut the strip, I mean the adhesive strip with a scissor, uh, put some oil on the blades of the scissor because this particular adhesive is so sticky that uh, it sticks to any surface that it uh, uh, touches. 
I tried it with the scissor earlier and it sticks to the to the scissor that's why I changed my scissor into this small one but again uh, put uh, any oil um, any cooking oil would do like any oil that uh, on the blades of the of the scissor okay so let me cut off the video because the rest is self-explanatory okay so I'm back with the with the machine without the uh, bezel for the moment I just wanted to make sure that everything else is working on the LCD screen uh, I am connected uh, to the internet the camera the microphone is working before I reattach the bezel with the adhesive please note that the adhesive is so strong that you have to make sure first before you reattach it otherwise you're gonna do the process all over again okay so good luck and um, thank you for watching this video for some more tips and tricks visit my site ifixiteasy.com